Hi guys, today we are going to learn how to set up MS Office Outlook 2010. And in order to do this, you need to know your incoming mail server, POP, and your outgoing mail server, SMTP. And of course, you need to have an email address, username, and password. So, your Outlook program looks like this. This is a running Outlook in my computer. Simple instruction how to do it. Open Outlook 2010. If the Microsoft Outlook 2010 startup wizard displays automatically, on the first page of the wizard, click Next. Then, on the email account page of the wizard, click Next. Again, to set up an email account, if the Microsoft Outlook 2010 startup wizard doesn't appear on the Outlook 2010 toolbar, click the File tab, then just above the Account Setting button, click Add Account. Now, this is how it is. This is the Outlook program. Send Receive Home and this is the file. Clicking the file, it will bring out this pop out. And then an account setting here, just click on that and you will have this account settings. Add and remove accounts on chain or change existing connection settings. Now let's click this. There you go. Account setting. Now from here you can add email account or you can create an email in here. Set up I should say an email in here. File data where is wherein it's already existing but no email account running in it. There is another way of bringing out this setup option. Just go to your control panel and then find mail icon. Just click on that and then it will bring you mail setup outlook and then click email accounts. Voila! Here it is. Just like the same. Going back to the account settings. Now let's try to set up an email account. Clicking new. It brings you this email account, your name, email address, password, and then retype password. This is when you have an email exchange. But at this time, for this uh, video, we are going to do manual configure server setting or additional server type. See, it's already gray in here. Now click next. On clicking next, it will give you several options in here. Microsoft Exchange or Compatible Service, Text Messaging, SMS, or Internet Email. Let's choose Internet Email, Connect to POP, and EMAP Server to send and receive email messages. Clicking next. There you go. Here we are. Now we are going to fill up all this. Now, writing your name. Let's just, my name is me. Ah, uh, Tess. That's my name. My email address is tessmegood at roadrunner.com POP server is POP the server that so called that rr.com right here 
now smtp server yes right there smtp the server that so called that rr.com it depends on the protocol being used at this time the server email server requires the email address as your username and a password right there I would like to show you some further instruction on how to set up an email account Outlook 2010 you can use new account file data or if you have already a PST file running and you have emails there you can click this one and then just browse now for the sake of testing let's just uh, create a new outlook file data and then furthermore before clicking next go for more settings and it depends on your email server some requires outgoing servers uh, requires authentication but it looks like this email server doesn't require that and then uh, uh, go to advance for encryption it depends on your service provider for uh, email uh, sometimes the require server requires encrypted uh, connection uh, but it looks like this uh, server doesn't require that and another encrypted connection for outgoing like for instance you see SSL or TLS or just uh, uh, choose auto but it looks like this one doesn't require it so another thing is that the delivery option right here delivery if you want to leave your emails before uh, retrieving them for 14 days you can click this now uh, it shows that the email stays there for 14 days and then it will be deleted uh, after that or if you have another account and this is your second account email you can leave a copy of a message server there and let the other one do the process of removing uh, emails from the server now for the sake of experiment let's just assume that this is the first account set up for this email we set it up like this or maybe just I uh, choose 10 and then click OK now before closing shall we test this email by clicking test account click text ok it's running log on incoming server completed and then send this email completed voila well and good now you have set up your new email account for MS Office Outlook 2010 so in here you can just go ahead and finish it and then close this one and now you can write an email to anyone of your choice right here maybe you may already know this or maybe some don't know it some of your internet service provider depending on the plan you have they are providing in bundle email accounts like for instance Time Warner here in USA for a standard you have at least 10 emails Turboplan 25 emails with 5 gigabytes space Extreme 25 but larger space like 10 gigabytes Ultimate 30 email accounts and 10 gigabytes but you may say is it necessary for me I can check my email over the internet well uh, it is true that you can check your email over the internet but remember that these email addresses on a server uh, has a limited capacity whereas 
you can have emails as large as you can in your local PC. Well, what can I say? Thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye.